Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I may be reached on 781-380-8888. Gold is, of course, up about $80 this morning, trading around $1660. Uh, I, I ask you to consider, I mean, this is not a day trading deal. I ask you to consider what is wrong with the world. Nothing has changed. The U.S. economy is in a doldrum, and you can call it a re you can call it uh, not being in a recession. I know a recession when I see one. A recession is when people are unable to work, and everybody else is scared, and so nobody's spending money except the super rich, and that's not enough. And there's no prospect of any immediate resolution to this problem. Gold is telling you not only is there no resolution likely in the United States, but it's not likely anytime soon. Further, I don't want to hector about the European dithering. The issue remains that the euro is a very sick currency. In Europe, unlike the United States, gold does not have the taint of nuttiness. People think buying gold is perfectly okay. So as a consequence, what has happened is European investors, regardless of size, are telling you the European situation is not going to be solved, even if the, Greece, the Greek debacle is uh, resolved in some fashion. Because there are other countries, there are governance issues. So that's what gold is telling you. That's why gold is selling for 1660 bucks versus 1100 for 1660 bucks versus 405 okay that's what has happened over the last few years so we're recovering from a financial meltdown and our recovery is not going smoothly it's not going rapidly and many people believe unless a combination of public works and deficit reduction is taken up in the United States in the next 90 days, there's no likelihood of it happening effectively until 2014 or 2015, because you know that the government uh, is ineffective. I hate to mention this, because I have some pro-government views, as you know, but they passed a bill uh, a year and a half ago to give unemployed people a way of saving their homes. They set aside money for 30,000 uh, mortgage rescues. Not one of these rescues has taken place because the relevant federal department, housing urban development, hasn't done it. So what does that tell you about a multi-billion dollar public works program? How long is that going to take to go into effect? Now, I'm not even going into whether or not it's going to be approved. But even if it's approved, we're two to three years away from anything happening. And everybody knows that. That's why my lecture yesterday was entitled Denial. Okay, everybody knows that this stuff's going to take a long time to work out. So, what are we seeing? We're seeing gold up after the margin call hike. Now, who, sell, who is selling out the last few weeks? It's not people who are net long gold and like gold. It's people and institutions and hedge funds that are, um, excuse me, that are investing in many other things and they got their margins called on other stuff like stocks and bonds and uh, they had to sell their gold. So the core gold believer and the core gold investor is aware that we're in a long-term climb of the wall of worry. My final comment has to do with perfidious Pakistan. Perfidious Pakistan. From our perspective, they're perfidious. From their perspective, they're doing the right thing for their own country. Now, obviously, I don't know why we're, in, we're supporting them so much, unless we're afraid <laughs> that if we didn't try to buy them off, they would invade California or some such thing. Uh, the, the Pakistanis have a vested interest in keeping Afghanistan messed up. The Pakistanis have a vested interest in keeping the Pakistan's, excuse me, the Afghanistan situation messed up 
because they're afraid that a calm, tranquil Afghanistan would be a pro-India Afghanistan. Okay? It's very simple math. They're doing what they feel they need to do for their nation state. I say, why are we enabling them? Take the money away from them. Let them do whatever they want to do because they do whatever they want to do anyway. So, this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Before you start having a nervous breakdown about gold, think about what has changed in the world. The answer is, nothing has changed. Gold is a place to be for up to 20% of your portfolio. And if you want some hedging techniques, which we normally use in our business, please give me a call or Al a call on 781-380-8888. Have a nice day. Keep swinging.